Omarosa Manigault Newman, the former contestant on President Trump's The Apprentice, was fired and forcibly removed from the White House after Secret Service agents blocked her path to his office, according to reports. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders issued a statement saying Manigault Newman resigned as Director of Communications in the Office of Public Liaison to pursue other opportunities. Her departure will not be effective until January 20, 2018. We wish her the best in future endeavors and are grateful for her service. Sanders said, but a White House official told the Wall Street Journal that Manigault Newsman's departure was abrupt and confrontational. The 43-year-old, one of Trump's most prominent African-American aides, was physically dragged and escorted off the campus Tuesday evening, the official told the journal. April Ryan, White House bureau chief for American Urban Radio Networks tweeted that Chief of Staff John Kelly gave her the boot. The White House still contends Omarosa signed a resignation letter, but General Kelly kicked her out while high drama with the minister offering vulgarities and curse words as she was escorted out of the building and off campus, said Ryan, who also is a CNN political analyst. Ryan said in her radio report later that Manigault Newman was very upset and said that she wanted to speak to the president. Jen Kelly said that the president was already informed and signed off, she said. Citing sources, Jen Kelly is also alleged to have said that this is not like going to the principal's office. During the altercation, Manigault Newman told Kelly that she had brought the black boat to Trump, Ryan said, but he snapped, no, that is not the case. After unleashing a stream of vulgarities, the spurned aide tried to walk over to Trump's office, but was stopped by Secret Service agents who physically removed her from the premises. Ryan added, Ryan and Manigault Newman are former friends whose relationship soured earlier this year. In February, Ryan accused Manigault Newman of physically intimidating her and saying she was among several journalists on whom Team Team had collected dossiers of negative information, according to the Washington Post. Manigault Newman responded to the allegation by emailing, My comment. Fake news. Colleagues of the former reality TV star who earned $179,700 a year have often questioned her role in the White House, where she could be seen at presidential photo ops, strolling the corridors and occasionally in the White House briefing room. Her departure comes shortly after it was revealed she showed up at the White House with her bridal party for a surprise photo shoot only to be banned from posting pictures publicly due to security and ethical concerns. According to Politico, two sources close to Trump told CNN that Manigault Newman's departure has been a long time coming, and that her role began to feel ill-defined when Kelly took over in July and ended the practice of unfettered access to the Oval Office that she had enjoyed. The New York Times reported in September that Kelly had put her on a no-fly list of staffers he did not deem fit to attend high-level meetings. Manigault Newman last traveled with Trump to the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum in Jackson on Saturday but a White House official told CNN that she has had no direct access to the president for months. In August, Manigault Newman attended the National Association of Black Journalists Conference in New Orleans, where she sidestepped questions about her role in the White House and got into a shouting match with panel host Ed Gordon. She recently told BuzzFeed News that she was ready for the next move and wanted to spend time with her husband, travel to Europe and go back to being a minister. Manigault Newman, a former Democrat, and Trump had known each other since the first season of The Apprentice, in 2004, when she emerged as the villainous breakout star. Trump who famously fired her from the show later served as executive producer on a dating show, The Ultimate Merger, on which men competed to win her heart. People have long been unsure what she did at the White House, a former White House official told CNN. Many of her colleagues are elated by today's news. Her departure comes at the start of what's expected to be a round of departures heading into the new year. Last week, the White House said Deputy National Security Advisor Dinah Powell will leave the administration early next year.